orbits an asteroid back and forth that's really something. When asteroid 2024 YR4 was discovered a few weeks ago, it attracted attention mainly because it could crash into Earth in December 2032. In the period that followed, the predicted future of the space rock did not really turn out to be any rosier, and the risk of impact was initially upgraded to 2.2 and then even to 3.1%. But now, NASA has issued a new update, and the probability of the object coming into close contact with us in just over seven years has been reset to zero. But could this all-clear signal also be reversed in the future? And why is the moon still not out of the woods despite all the orbital observations? The threat from space is omnipresent. In the course of its existence, our blue home planet has repeatedly been caught in the crosshairs of asteroids. Of course, there was the estimated 14-kilometer-wide boulder that ignited an apocalyptic inferno on Earth 66 million years ago and thus also ended the era of the dinosaurs. And yet, smaller missiles can also cause quite a stir in everyday life on Earth on a local scale. Although the so-called Tunguska event of 1908 did not literally set the world to rolling, it did knock over some 60 million trees in Siberia and produced a thunderous roar of primal force that was even perceived more than 500 kilometers away. But what would actually happen if an asteroid were to approach Earth during these days? What if our automatic telescope network were to suddenly sound the alarm and a collision with a space rock seemed inevitable? Well, NASA and ESA experts are already regularly running through this unpleasant scenario simulating all the conceivable steps that would need to be taken in such a case, from detection to defense or evacuation. But recently, on December 27, 2024 to be precise, the test run was suddenly transformed into a real emergency. The telescope of the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, stationed in Chile, triggered the automatic alarm and reported the discovery of a celestial body that may have been on a collision course with Earth. The report was immediately forwarded to experts and observatories around the world via the International Asteroid Warning Network. It was not long before it was established that the rock, which was named 2024 YR4, could actually hit the Earth on December 22, 2032. Expressed in figures, this means nothing more than that the corresponding impact probability was estimated at around 1.2% or 1 in 83. And although this may not sound particularly high at first, 2024 YR4 still achieved the second highest value ever recorded on the Turin risk scale. More precisely, the lump was classified on the third level of the scale, which means nothing other than that we are dealing here with an object with a collision probability of more than 1% that would cause severe local destruction in the event of an impact. So far, we only know of one other asteroid, Apophis, that has made it to the fourth level, but it's now back at level zero, so that a direct hit in 2029 is now considered to be out of the question, provided that its trajectory remains unchanged until then. What we face in an emergency, and why the risk of impact has been reduced to zero. But if we just assume the worst-case scenario at this point, and assume that 2024 YR4 will really hit Earth, what would that mean for our planet and its inhabitants? Could the asteroid become a Dino Killer 2.0? Well, luckily, this is highly unlikely for a number of reasons. One of these is the size of the asteroid. While the object that wiped out the dinosaurs had a diameter of 14 kilometers, 2024 YR4 is estimated to be only 40 to 90 meters across. This roughly corresponds to the dimensions of the suspected originator of the Tunguska event, and even if you are not at the impact site, the asteroid would not cause a global catastrophe. Nevertheless, NASA emphasizes that in this case, serious devastation would be expected within a radius of 50 kilometers. And at first, it even looked as if the probability of this was higher than initially thought. Because after the ESA carried out a new data analysis at the beginning of February, it first classified the risk of an impact as 1.8 and then soon after as 2.2%. In the same breath, however, the experts reminded us that this assessment is anything but set in stone. On the contrary, on the one hand, there is the fact that in 2024, YR4 will be moving in an almost straight line towards Earth, 
making it extremely difficult to analyze even with large telescopes. And on the other hand, although the Earth is basically in the region that the asteroid will pass through in December 2032, this potential impact zone is also around 2 million kilometers wide and thus significantly larger than the average distance between the Sun and the Earth. Accordingly, the scenario in which the asteroid would simply rush past us seemed just as likely, which is probably why the experts were all the more surprised when the risk was raised again a few days later. Specifically, NASA astronomers have now raised the probability of a hit in seven years to 3.1%, but it now appears that Earth has finally pulled its head out of the asteroid noose. Further observations have now narrowed and refined the trajectory to such an extent that we can say much more precisely where YR4 will fly in the future. And according to this data, we are no longer within the danger zone, and the risk of impact has consequently been downgraded to 0%. In light of this, the experts are now saying that, and I quote, there is no significant potential for this asteroid to impact within the next 100 years. The reason why this prognosis was made so far beyond the year 2032 is that the rock will enter our realm regularly in the future and will come relatively close seven times between 2036 and 2076 alone. In order to get to the bottom of the object's background anyway, the James Webb Telescope is now to turn its sharp infrared view on it. Since the heat radiated by the asteroid in infrared light reflects its true size much more precisely than in the visible spectrum, the researchers want to use this to get to the bottom of the exact dimensions of the boulder. How we might react if worse comes to worse. So far, so reassuring, but unlike on Earth, experts have not yet given the all clear for our constant companion. In fact, there is still a 1.7% probability that the moon will experience an unexpected asteroid rendezvous. However, this would not be particularly dramatic since our satellite has no atmosphere and, despite all the secret moon-based rumors, officially contains no inhabitants, the only consequence to be expected would be another large crater. And the fact that astronomers have now succeeded in shedding much more light on the asteroid's darkness is practical, to say the least. After all, the bottom line is that we only have until the end of May 2024 to keep a closer eye on YR4. After that, it will no longer be visible from Earth for the time being. It's currently moving away from us and will spend several years in the future in the remote part of its eccentric orbit and on the far side of the Sun. It will not return to our terrestrial field of vision until 2028. But since the impact probability is, as already mentioned, 0%, further observation would probably only serve purely scientific purposes anyway. Or will it? Well, who knows? Because if we recall the briefly mentioned asteroid Apophis at this point, it becomes clear to us that, in purely theoretical terms, things can happen that turn an actually harmless lump back into a real danger. Paul Weigert from the University of Western Ontario explains that Apophis could collide with another object and as a result could still head for Earth. Admittedly, the conditions that would be necessary for this are very specific and Weigert puts the risk of an impact in 2029 at less than 1 in 2 billion. And yet, 1 in 2 billion is not the same as zero. But what could we do if Apophis or 2024 YR4 were to threaten to crash into Earth? Well, in simple terms, exactly what we have already done. After all, NASA has already impressively demonstrated how it can be done in fall 2022. At that time, the asteroid moon Dimorphos which is around 165 meters in diameter, had become the focus of the DART mission. The eponymous spacecraft had taken on the role of a flying battering ram, which deliberately hit the surface of the asteroid and thus transferred enough momentum to shorten its orbit around the parent asteroid. In the same breath, DART also proved that relatively small means are sufficient to counter great dangers. While the probe only weighed 570 kilograms, Dimorphos weighed a whopping 5 billion kilograms. And yet, the impact was not only enough to successfully manipulate the orbit, but also to eject around 900,000 kilograms of material into space. Some of this blasted off material could even fall to Earth in the form of shooting stars in the 2030s, giving us the first man-made meteor shower in history. And did you know that your man-made click can get you a new subscription? 
Just click the thumbs up and subscribe now to never miss a new video again. We'll see you soon.